Look out, look, look. What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for y'all and today I just saw this idea on YouTube Somebody else did this with their car and I feel like I should do it with mine But first off, I know y'all remember Kiara Hey y'all <laughs> She with that hey y'all But hey, yeah, she uh Today she's gonna be raiding my car We're about to head to Smoothie King right now Cause she says she wants a smoothie, she's kinda hungry And she's on this like diet-ish type deal but not like a full diet but a diet-ish so we're about to go get smoothies from Smoothie King and I figured why not go ahead and record this video for y'all but Kiera yes got anything you want to say to the vlog nope let's keep going all right so the first things first for those y'all who don't know me my name is PJ I make YouTube videos automotive videos on this car and I have a Miata over here that I'm also building and that's gonna be an autocross build but yeah i just make automotive vi videos and i have kiara like i said she's gonna be raiding my car my vehicle and first things first y'all probably are gonna notice how loud my car is and that's because i did a little more than just the muffler delete like a lot of people do but i drive a 2014 genesis coupe and i have basically a full exhaust on here for all of y'all who don't know it's basically like opening up the exhaust all the way from the engine to the back of the car so there's no restrictions and so that's why it's so loud so Kiera what were your first impressions whenever I first got the car like what were you thinking because you know I had a Genesis previously which was the right. green one I know you like that car so right. whenever I got this one and got rid of the Mustang how'd you think about it so initially when he got the car the first time the green one I instantly thought about Kim Possible I don't know why I thought about the little car she drove around in but um when he got rid of the Cobra to get this one, initially I was sad that he, well I was happy he was getting rid of the Cobra because I was just like, it's breaking down, he's constantly having to do stuff happy? with it. I was, you remember I told you I was happy? And now, like the longer that we've had, the longer that he's had this Hyundai, I've been sad because I miss the Cobra. One, it used to always get him so much attention, it was so noticeable, well noticeably loud for one. And now that it's no longer here, I realize how iconic and such a big deal that car was. But anyway, we're talking about the Genesis. Um, I like it. It's a nice, clean car. I feel like it's a nice fit for him, um, his everyday car. So I like it. I like the first one he had. I like this one that he had. So. You, uh, if you had to get a two-door sports car, would you like be looking forward to getting this over like anything else? I wouldn't mind getting this. I wouldn't. Um, but what else would I like? Um, I know you said you like the, uh, the little Mercedes coupe that I told you about. I'm gonna put pictures on oh, your cars oh, that I'm talking yeah. about. On the screen oh, I did. Car. I loved that car, but. And then, uh, Infinity. Oh, the, yeah. Why, yeah, did, why can't I remember that? But yes, the Q60, the, Q60, the Infinity, and I also like the Tudor Ultimates for some reason. I love those somebody, cars. Somebody tell her about this Tudor Ultimate. I love it. I absolutely love it. But um, yeah, I wouldn't mind having this as my car either. So yeah. Okay. Would you put this more towards like a a luxurious sports car or? Just a, would it be more luxurious or would it be more like sporty? Like if you had to rate this car, sporty, sporty. I would say sporty. Why it's not? Luxurious. I wouldn't knock it and say it's not luxurious. Look at but, this. But it's look, look at the gauges. <laughs> look at all this. Yeah. It's it, like it's nice. it got the black accents with the little silver pieces. Um. And it ain't that ain't. Man, it got the blue lights I, like I, Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I wouldn't consider it to be luxurious i personally uh, wouldn't well how would you rate the uh like the interior what's what's something you like about the interior and something you don't like about it since we're in here um, okay so i'm not saying this just because one it's his car or he feels this like i'm just saying it but i don't have any cons or anything bad to say about the interior of the car i like it um i normally would say that i'm a cloth person but for this car, I could definitely not see it, the seats or anything being cloth. I think it's nice with the leather. I actually like these seats. I like these seats much better than I like the Cobra seats. Um, 
yeah i didn't Why, care the, for the, the cobra the, the field the field and the the look I, I didn't really the, care for so what, when you did that thing you talking about like the i was about to say the build yeah the like, bolsters, like Okay, so you like the sporty seats more than comfort seats. Well, I wouldn't say more than, but for this car, you like the sporty seats, how they hug on to yeah, your side. I'm hooked. I got and a little uh, hood going on. <laughs> but okay, so um, over the comfort. Yeah. But that's good, because I know at first, whenever I first got this, I mean, I drove, what, eight hours to get it? Mm -hmm. And then I drove eight hours back home, like the same day, same trip. I yeah. just took a little hour break in between. Mm -hmm. But uh, I know one thing I didn't like about it was the lumbar part. It was like after that long eight hours, like within like five hours or so, the lumbar, since I don't think it's adjustable in this car. And uh, that started messing with me. That uh, I don't know, it's the way it sat. It's like it had me sitting in a weird position. It was different from the Cobra, and the Cobra was full adjustable driver's seat, so I could change all of that. And this car did. What's something that you really like about this car? The interior. Oh, still on the interior. Um, ooh. I do like. Ooh, ooh. Like you said, I do like the look of this and the gauges, right? Gauges. Mm. I like the gauges. Um, Does it make it look old, like classic? -y? No, it doesn't. I think uh. that's probably why I like it so much. Versus, oh, oh. my lord. Look well. at the line. Well. I forgot we still in the middle of COVID. So everybody just trying to grab and go. Okay. Well, how you feel about the exhaust? Like it's oh, too loud? No. Oh, no. You know, I like that. I like that. That's something that I really liked about the Cobra wow. because it was, I like that. I do. But I remember at first you was like, yeah, you like all that loud exhaust and all that kind of stuff. At night, I hate it. Like whenever I'm sleeping, next thing you hear, or I'm just chilling and I hear <sighs> in a driveway or something, I'm like, oh my gosh. Wow. But I mean, other than that, like we on the road and stuff, I love it. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> I need to clean out the inside of this car for real though. Yeah. I'll clean out one of these days. Yeah. So what else you got for me? Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all want to see Kiara do some wide open throttle pulls in the Genesis, even though I just blew the motor up. <laughs> but I think I'll trust her. And let me know in the comment section and get this video to 100 likes. If y'all get it to 100 likes, I don't think I've ever gotten a video to 100 likes mm -hmm. other than, no, I, I have a couple. I have a couple, but if y'all get this video to 100 likes, then mm -hmm. I'm gonna let her do some wide open throttle pulls and whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Oh. But how you feel about that? You gonna do it? <laughs> like you said. She gonna have to do it. She gonna have to do it. Well, you heard him. 100 likes. So share this video with your friends and family. Go ahead and do it right now at this moment, and we're gonna make this happen for y'all. Pulling up to the car wash right now because I want to wash my car before I show y'all the outside of it. So let me go ahead and get started with this wash. And I'll get right back with y'all. All right, so like I said, I'm in the car wash. And one thing I do recommend or don't recommend is going through a touch car wash, which means there are those brushes that swipe across the car. You don't want to go through that because when those big trucks get in here, they always carry a lot of mud and dirt and rocks and stuff. And so that'll swipe all across your car, tear your paint up and all that kind of stuff. It may look good as soon as it's done, but in the end, you're gonna have a bunch of swirl marks and stuff on your paint. So don't do that. Go to a touchless one, which is like how I came to, and it's basically just gonna spray everything on it. Just just spray, and that's it. And so, yeah, I'll get with y'all whenever we're done. That car wash didn't do much of nothing. I mean, it did, it did the job for now, but it still didn't do much of anything. But, Kiera, all right, now we gotta judge oh, the outside, stretch. huh? Oh, that's Ben right there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But how you feel about the outside of the car? The outside. Again, I like it. I know you um 
wasn't too crazy at the fact that you could see like little sparkles in it. But I love it. I think that makes the car. The little feminine sparkles. Oh, don't worry about the swirls. That's the swirls I was telling y'all about. Previous owner. But I don't know if y'all can see the sparkles in the paint. I like it. But carbon fiber. You like the carbon fiber? I on love the, back? the carbon fiber. When you told me you were gonna get this, I was just like, why? But it adds to the car. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Look at the weave in the carbon fiber. For those of y'all who don't know what carbon fiber is, it's basically stronger than steel, but lighter, like a lot lighter. And that's a, uh, it's stronger. Like, like if you had this amount of steel, it wouldn't be as strong or something like that. Some science behind that. But uh, here, anything you don't like about the car um, on the outside? No, but I also want to speak on the fact that you added this to I love it. That's also a carbon fiber. Oh. Well, yeah, I got the wing emblem. Have the wings. Have these wheels. You like the wheels? The yeah. XXR wheels. I do. They look like some spiders. <laughs> like some spiders. Yeah, I like them. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Oh, wait, oh, I can't say. I don't like too much that you, you did this. Oh. But. I mean, it looks a lot better than having a little fake mesh honeycomb type stuff do i have some of that yeah like this it look a lot better than having this up there but one thing i can say that i wish would be a little better on the car i wish that the tint was a little darker i like the dark tint and again mm. that's something that the cobra had i mean i guess I like. you could say that because this tint is not like y'all it might look dark yeah it's, it's not dark at all us, it's not like, it's tinted you can tell it's tinted but it's not dark at all i think i want to go with 20 percent to be honest with you and so i may end up doing that one day oh look what i just did mm -hmm. all right so here comes the raiding part we're gonna do a three-part raiding we're gonna raid it from the exterior like okay so what's like one of the best looking cars that you would buy or whatever Alexis. Alexis, mm -hmm. as opposed to exterior. So that's a ten. That's a ten. We're gonna say the Lexus RCF or RC350. One of those is the ten for her. It's on the screen in case y'all don't know. But what would you rate the Genesis then? I give the Genesis exterior, just the mm -hmm. exterior. I give the exterior. Um, an eight. A eight. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess. I guess. What about the interior? The the interior, which one of those cars? Like probably the Mercedes, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, so the Mercedes, oh, yeah, what was I that? that a C three hundred? I the think. Dash, uh -huh. Something like that. But that's on the screen right now. And uh okay, so the interior of the Genesis would be a what? I can also Say that mm. if the Mercedes is a 10, what you gonna get a Genesis? I think I'd give that an 8 also. An 8? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 8.5. Okay. 5. I mean you kind of surprising me here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I told you it's not a bad <laughs> car. It's not. Alright, what about uh like the comfort and like just the performance well no not performance but the comfort like mm. riding in it like definitely better than the cobra <laughs> wait cobra. better yeah better i told you I, those seats we took some road trips in that cobra oh uh, that's engraved in my brain <laughs> my body memory like that okay. was terrible i can do this um okay so Again, I can give it an eight. I feel like overall. I think you just gonna give everything an eight because you ain't trying to hurt my feelings. No, that and that's not it. I told you overall, we could do the Miata. I could say, <laughs> I could say a few different we, things we about gonna, the Miata. We're gonna say that for another video. But um, overall, I can say this is a eight car. Eight. Yeah. All right. Well, if you say the Cobra, let's just say the Cobra was a ten with the exhaust sound. How does this one sound? 
eight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm done with you. So I'm guessing overall, Kiara gonna rate this car an eight. Let me know in the comment section below what y'all would rate my car because it does look pretty spiffy, at least from the outside. I will be tinting the tail lights, so this is going to change a little bit. It's going to look a little different. But y'all probably don't care about that. Y'all probably clicked on this because of her. But if you didn't and want to know more about this car, you can check out the channel. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, you might as well go ahead and subscribe because I do post a lot of content, especially automotive content. And some videos are off the wall, like I include Kiara in the videos such as this video right now. Share this video with your friends and family and make sure we get this video to 100 likes. Remember that because she will be driving this car if we get this to 100 likes and we'll be giving this uh, some wide open throttle pulls. As always, remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And we'll see y'all later. All right. <laughs><laughs> you should do that just because whenever your coolant is low there is not coolant there's air, air passing through your heater core which is in your dash and usually with your fan your blower motor blows the hot air well it blows air over your evaporator core and <laughs> then that is what blows the heat because there's heat hot coolant in there but since there is no coolant in there it doesn't have anything hot to blow so therefore exactly. it blows cold, cold air thanks kier you're welcome <laughs> bj <laughs> Bro, take the wipers off, bro. <laughs>